Hi, happy Sunday to everybody. This is Morgan coming to you with a new video for poetry reading. And um, it is great to see you back. Um, this is going to be an interesting video. Um, I have a little surprise at the end, I guess. Um, just a tip for a couple tips for how I am coping with all of the feelings that are happening in the world right now. So anyhow, I'll be reading two poems today and um, just an offering for um, just any feelings that are coming up for anybody because there are a lot. So I uh, hope you stay tuned. So my first poem is called uh, Worn Out. And um, I wanted to just uh, preface this, I believe that's the word. Um, my poems today are definitely a reaction to um, the continuing of um, the murders of black lives, um, not just black male lives, but um, black lives in general of all forms. Um, and it's my offering um, that the only that there aren't only a certain type of outlet that you can use for um, for using your platform and your voice um, to make an impact towards um, a more fair society for all shades of people and all experiences um, of being um, a black life in this world right now. So. Um, my poem today are in spirit of anyone that is in oppression. And it's also to say, you know, it's okay to um, use your vessel to, um, to voice how you are feeling um, in whatever way that you feel is right and whatever way that your spirit is calling you, you know. So that is what I want to start the video by saying. So uh, here is my first poem called Worn Out. As our established, switch us into subordination. You bucked. Expose their intentions for one superior race. One voice that is granted to speak one earth that we waste away like thinning bike tires. Our air is depleted. Our space is limiting. Our bodies are broken. We are riding on our worn out rubber. But your ideals could oil and patch us. Once again, we are at the mercy of the few. Crumbs from their lips bloated, bellies, and bell ringing for more. They are well resourced, but now we are enlightened. No invisible attacker will tie a blindfold around our eyes. We have a vote, and even if we have to cast it, pen and lips, bodies tied, we do it, we do it, we do it, as long as we exist. So I'm not sure if I read this one already, but I'm going to read it again. Um, this one is actually, you can find it on my Instagram channel. Um, I guess I can link that below. Um, but, um, the name is slipping me, but here's the poem. Um, chronic condition to wear out. In perspective, they're the machine skewing judgment. And a claw meant to give the illusion of possibility. As it loosely slides up words twing our fuzzy hopes. We are the ants that you crush under your thumb. Numb to spirit wars, no candidate can save us. The enlightened save themselves and bring their sisters. We show up after the heart attack, turning each other off of our backs. No, it's not enough. Black Futures Lab, why we can't wait. Our cups of endurance are running over our vehicle may be knocked down, but we can still see the collective bodies flooding, pushing the caboose forward. 
So this last part is just um, kind of I'm letting my spirit kind of guide me to what I want to share with you guys. Um, and um, there's a lot of kind of like negativity out there. You know, we have our negativity personally where we feel like someone has attacked us and we're holding on to that. And then there's also the messages that we're getting from the media. But I feel like for me, I wanted to offer like two things that I am doing presently to um, kind of just take care of myself. And I hope that it kind of inspires you to do the same thing. Um, so I can just show you what I've been doing. So the first thing I'm showing you is a weight. Now, it's eight pounds, but this weight is what I've been using to, obviously there's a pair, but I've been using this to kind of build my core strength because I noticed that um, there are um, just, you know, I want to work on my core and I feel like it's important to work on this area because it holds for me a lot of my um, emotional self. So I feel like I use this weight I can kind of show you just how I get the back of my arms. I kind of use it like this. And it's probably the wrong technique. But I also lay down my um, my red yoga mat. And then I kind of like lift my weight. And I um, just, um, I kind of just let the passion out of me. And I let like any situation where I felt like, um, you know, where I felt like, um, I needed to work harder, push harder. I didn't say something, you know, and I let it all come out in the weight. And um, I also use it as a tool to kind of like think of my family and um, get that competitive um, nature that we all have. <laughs> and I and I kind of like say, you know, this is in honor of this family member. This is in honor of this family member. And I, it's it, using these weights like. You know, they say, oh, it's so um, useful to use weights as your, um, or to, to, to take care of your body and exercise. And I, and I would always fight it, <laughs> but I feel like getting down to what works for you um, physically is really important. Um, it's like you're nurturing yourself. You're taking care of yourself for all those times that, you know, someone else couldn't, or you couldn't show up for yourself in the best way. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to put that out there that I've been using an eight pound weight, two eight pound weights. And the final thing, I'm holding a $20 bill. There's a lot of things that you can do with a $20 bill, but in my case, I am going to spend this $20 on eyeshadow from Target. And, um, I think that's important, um, to do the little things that that kind of enhance you to make you feel good right now um you know, a lot of people in different categories are due to the media coverage you know they are saying you know this is the hurt that happened in my community this is the hurt that happened to me this is what happened you know it's a lot of people feeling feeling the pains of their own selves and their communities of past and their ancestors. So I feel like it's just important to do like the little things to take care of yourself. Like if you don't usually wear makeup, like I don't usually wear makeup, but I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> um, just the little things that make you feel good about yourself. I think it's so important to um, to do the do do those things. And um, especially right now in this time where people are kind of disconnected from themselves. And um, I'm always on the, on the journey of trying to reconnect with my own self and, um, and to lead by, um, lead by my spirit and also lead by um, the things that feel good in life now. So... With that being said, I'm going to leave you with good energy, and um, we're not going through anything that we haven't experienced before in some time period, in some place of human existence, and um, look to um, your own community as support, and you don't have to do this by yourself. Okay, see you next week.